Hello, so I'm currently still at the third floor. Still sunny as ever. And there's still more stairs over there. Then I do a shopping haul, like they all do. I went to um, a little grocery market thing, and I got two sticks of candy, because it's the final three weeks. I mean, you gotta have some sedative while you're studying. Three weeks is crunch time. And then I got this for a video thing, but I'm gonna really give it to my friend, because she loves it, and I'm like, she'd appreciate it more than me, and I had to get it either way, then why not? Let me show you inside my bag. Keep my umbrella here. I fold it up like this after I put it in the rain and I didn't let it dry, so like the inside armature is slightly rusted. Prince cookies. Let me show you these. Prince cookies are like really good. Um, they have a special place in my heart. No, really, they do. Um, I also have these. They're like kind of club crackers, buttery saltines, except uh, I don't think they're made with butter. More sunflower oil. Ooh, that was ambiguous. Anyways, focus on the bag. These are my books. Here is my advanced Spanish textbook. Let me show you. It's a great time. Here and here. Planner, folder. They don't have individual folders here. Like, they don't sell any of that here. It's like, a big paper file, and it's nice. They have fancy class. Oh, I'm holding it back. It's just a freaking thing. Today's not the day, is it? Here's my book, and I keep them in a plastic bag now. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the full story. So I was walking around in the rain and I had books in my backpack but they were like this, this pocket and it's like the pocket that sticks out the most. And it was raining and so like that pocket got really wet and the books inside it got really wet. And then like both of those books were in mine. They were borrowed. One was from the library and one was from my husband's friend. And I was like, fuck. So then I talked to the librarian and he was like, when you take care of books, you should take care of them like they're other people's children. Oh, yeah. And that, like, low key scarred me because, like, that's true because, like, books are valuable. <laughs> they're valuable things. And it's like, you just take someone's book and, like, get it all wet. So, um, now I keep it in a plastic bag. These are my library books. Oh, I'm good. This is Momo. Someone told me that was their, their favorite book, so I decided to borrow it and try to read it. And then this. Ah. This book by this guy called Albert Espinosa. He is a very cool guy. And his books are like really popular. I mean, this is so boring. And then, and then I was like, okay, I, I want to read this certain book. Cause like, in the States, I couldn't access no book like that unless I wanted to like order it off Amazon. And like here, his books are everywhere. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to the library and check out a book that I've like, I saw the title a few years ago and it was really interesting, but I didn't want to buy it off Amazon and there, it wasn't like anywhere readily accessible where I live. So, oh, that makes it sound so bad. It's not that bad. There's a lot of other books. Anyways, so I went there and the library was like, oh, someone's already checked it out. I'm like, ooh, it's popular. When I take this out, I assume people think I'm taking out a bag. Let you know, I'm just taking out a bag. Most of that was nice. I was supposed to go return my library books today. Well, that didn't really happen. Because I got sidetracked. Now my big notebook in different colors so that I could like color code each subject. Here's my beloved laptop where all the magic happens and all the footage from here passes through here and then it passes through the video editing software and then it passes to the internet and then it passes through the internet to your screen. Or is I going with that? I don't know. I am doing remarkably well for the amount of sleep I got. It's so yeah, now you're reading at this. Now you're reading this, and you're seeing where it all started. Amazing. This is my backpack, and her name's Gracie, because she's gray. I'm not going to do that today. I don't know where that came out of. I just pull a random shit out of my brain sometimes, so I like my brain. It gives me random material like that to bounce things off of. What am I doing? Here's my charger, and here's the, the bag I made for my charger because I didn't want it to be flying loose everywhere. And the last thing I have in here is a handy dandy dictionary. And you know what? I got this dictionary when I was 13. When I was 13, I was really into studying Spanish. It's not like I'm any less into studying Spanish now, but like when I was 13, I was like, for real, like, when I grow up, I'm gonna go and study abroad in Spain. And now I'm grown up and I am studying abroad in Spain. And it's funny because I have the same exact dictionary that I had back then. Oh, nostalgia. Anyways. That's mostly it, unless you want to see the very, very last compartment. What I have in here is top secret, and you can't tell. Just kidding. It's a bag of pads, because you know, every girl has her time of the month. Or most girls have their time of the month. Can't generalize forever, because I don't know every girl in the world. Anyways. 
I'm on two completed um, tour and I'm just sitting on the floor with my, my, <laughs> my shit everywhere. <laughs>